Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we got a lot of stuff to go over, uh, but we're going to start off with. Uh, we got packs to open. We can't do a video and not open a couple packs at least. So we got some Iconic Masters. We're going to open these three. Not a whole lot, but we've got a lot of information later on in the video, plus a ridiculous amount of contests that are coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, if, if pack opening isn't your thing, you can go ahead and skip past. But I mean, these are Iconic Masters. I mean, these things are... These are amazing. The EV of these is through the... Oh, they're not. Oh, my. We're still going to open them. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, and see what we can get out of these real quick. Um, so, anyways, to talk about what we got coming up, um, we've got, I think, three different contests that we're talking about today. So, that's kind of cool. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and we'll just kind of thumb through the the commons here and then uh you know just 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 because we got a little bit of time we're good we get a jungle barrier Ooh, i think we got a foil we got a hunting pack blade wing the risen oh how you have fallen sir still love that card and our rare is we got a savage born hydra wah wah and our rare, or not rare, foil is Shriekgeist and a beastie token. No, all right, let's try this again. So, a lot of stuff happening here in Magic here lately. Um, we just had Magic 25. Ooh, Jotty Offshoot. Not, I mean, not an expensive card at all, but I loved this thing in Standard. Um... Yeah, a lot of stuff happening in Magic, you know, with 25 years and and all that jazz. Okay, let's move this. We can at least put them in their own pile. All right, we got a gutter snipe. I, let's get that up there. I love that new art. I really do. That's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I prefer original art, but let me tell you, this gutter snipe, spot on, wizard, spot on. Abs and Falconeer. Bog Brew Witch and our rare is Thossies. Well, that's not too shabby. I'll go ahead and take that. And our foil is oh, a foil <laughs> foil fluster storm winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> All right. Well, these packs just got a lot better. And we got a Dijin Monk token. Well, heck yeah. What a fluster storm. I'll go with that. Alrighty. Let's see what we got in this last pack here. Anything good? Anything good? Mannequin. Alright, we got a Sanguine Bond. We got a Mind Crank. Illusionary Armor. And our rare is... Curse of Predation. Okay, and our foil is, oh, it's black. Unfortunately, it's common. Foul Tongue Invocation. Wasn't this the one, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think in this particular set, uh, but this was, was this dragons or cons? I think it was dragons. Um, this thing, the foil version, shot up to like 40 bucks, I think, 40, 50 bucks. It was like redonkulous, but. Anywho, we got, uh, we got some garbage, some garbage, and then this pack, holy, holy cats, that was nuts. I'm going to say it again, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then that was our other pack. All right, well, that's a good way to start off a video. Uh, let me stop this camera here. So, um, of the stuff we have to cover today... Um, Okay, let's just go over the magic news. Uh, one of the we've got a new format, uh, Brawl, which is a uh, an EDH style commander, sorry, uh, commander style uh, play 
It's Singleton, uh, but you only have 60 cards. You start off with 30 life. You can use Planeswalkers as your commanders, but commander damage is no longer a thing in that particular format. Now, this isn't anything sanctioned by Wizards yet, um, but it's something that I guess they, they're they getting behind, which I'm not entirely sure what they're doing because, I mean... They, they still consider EDH a casual format, which, don't get me wrong, it is. It's a casual format. It doesn't get the attention that, um, actually, that I believe it, it should. Um, it's exceptionally popular. So, But that's a discussion for another time. Um, so anyways, um, the one of the big differences, the fact of the limited amount of cards, um, the... Uh, the card base is going to be whatever is in standard. So it's going to rotate just like standard does, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Um, one of the draws of EDH, Commander, um, is that you have so many cards to work with and there's just so many possibilities. I mean, there isn't you know, one or two decks that just dominate in Commander because you have such, well, I mean, first of all, it's Singleton, so you can't essentially, you know, add in four copies of this card and this card and this card to help ensure your combo, but you have such a wide range of cards to work with that, I mean, there's, a, there's I won't say endless possibilities, but just under endless possibilities. Um, so Standard Legal is going to use the same ban list and restricted list as Standard, um, so we'll see what it is. Um, and then we've got Arena. Arena has, uh, come out again, uh, with another update. They lifted the, uh, non-disclosure, non-disclosure agreement. Uh, we actually put some videos up, uh, last week, I believe it was. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link up, uh, if you want to check those out. Kind of explaining, I did one video with, uh, that was explaining, uh, what the update, uh, excuse me, what the, um, what Arena offered, what it was about, some of the options, some of the functions of it. Um, and then I had some gameplay videos after that. We're going to actually get more of those up. Uh, we just had another uh, reset. Essentially, everyone that was involved in the beta, um, I think this was the third card wipe we've had, um, at least since I've been on, um, where they essentially reset our collections, points, whole nine yards. It's like starting the game all over again. It's essentially to test new functions and whatnot. But so we got that, um, and then with this newest update, because uh, before we were only playing with um, Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan, now they have added um, Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation. So we've got those to work with too, so the decks are kind of changing. Um, it's not meant to... Some people are, are referring to it as uh, an attempted replacement of Magic the Gathering Online, which regardless of if that is or is not their intention, which I don't believe that is their intention. Um, I believe this is more of a replacement for uh, Duels of the Planeswalkers that the original video game version we had. Um, not original, last, but um, it's essentially, it, that is the predecessor to, to Arena. Um, I personally, I enjoy it. I like it, um, mainly because if I want to jump on Magic Online and play a game, I know that I need at least 45 minutes. Uh, chances are I'm not going to finish before then. Yes, there are some matches that finish quicker than that, but you can't always count on your opponent to be playing a fast deck. Um, so that's just kind of how it is. Um, with Arena, now as of the time of this recording, the, um, there are only single matches, or excuse me, single games. You don't play a best two out of three. Um, so that may change in the future, but right now, um, you know, if I've got 10 or 15 minutes to kill in between a, a project or having to do something, I can jump on, play a quick game. I'm not backing out of a match because I don't have, I no longer have time. Um, so for me, it's just a fun, quick way to play. I, I, I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Like I said, not a replacement for Paper Magic, not a replacement for MTGO, um, but uh, fun in its own right. Um, and then for things coming up. We got some new things coming up too in the Magic World. We got Challenger decks. Um, these are kind of like uh, what were they called? They were the uh, 
they were pre-con decks, and I'm drawing a complete blank on what their name was. Um, event decks. Event decks, I believe, is what they were called, where they were pre-constructed decks, and they actually weren't that bad. Um, I wouldn't call them Tier 1, but they weren't that bad. In fact, um, there was one with uh, Mirrodin, uh, Mirrodin Besieged, somewhere in the Scars block. Um, I actually got one, and you could essentially break it out of the box and play F&M, and, you know, do halfway decent. Uh, in fact, I still think I still have that deck. Anyways, that's what these are kind of geared towards. These are um, a, a step up from your intro decks. Um, these are not Tier 1 competition decks, but they are definitely powerful enough to go to an FNM and attempt to place. Uh, now, I've got a list of the decks we have here. First of all, they come out April 6th. Um, so we're going to have them relatively soon here. Uh, we've got Second Sun Control, which is a blue-white control deck. Uh, we've got Hazard Aggro, which is a mono-red aggro deck. Um, Vehicle Rush is a white-black-red aggro deck, uh, or Mardu, if you will. Um, and then we've got Counter Surge, which is a black-green kind of a counters somewhat aggro deck. Um, now, the... MSRP on these, I believe, is 35 I could be wrong on that. I probably put, should have put that in my notes, but here and over there. Um, these, they really don't look bad. Um, the Second Sun Control isn't that much different from the Second Sun Control that I've been seeing in f and M. I mean, um, these are rather good decks that you can essentially pop them out of the box and play them um for the love of cats please sleeve them first because that makes me cringe when i see people not play with sleeves but once again time for another discussion there um but so anyways we've got that coming out april 6th those should be interesting to see hopefully that uh i believe the intention is to kind of help newer players get into instead of having to create a deck you can simply buy a deck off the shelf and still have somewhat of a chance of at least giving some competition. Um, also on April 8th, we have the new dual decks coming out, Elves vs. Inventor, Inventors? Yes, in Elves vs. Inventors. Um, now, myself, I'm a fan of these decks um, simply because I have a vast collection of pre-con decks. Um, mainly for, you know, uh, I've got four kids, and if my kids come over, or excuse me, if my fr kids' friends come over, and they want to play Magic, um, but they really don't know how, I can grab any of those intro decks and let them play. They're not very complex. Um, it's just kind of fun. I think I've got 20 or 30 decks total. Um, that are just sitting on my shelf ready to go. So, um, value-wise, there's really not a whole lot of value in them. Um, but, I mean, they're still fun. So, I'll probably grab one. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got... We're going back to Dominaria, folks. I mean, as someone who's been playing since almost the beginning of Magic... Um, now, granted, my first couple years, I had no idea what was going on. I was a kid. We beat the hell out of the cards. And the deck... My favorite deck to play for the first couple of years was something like 90-some cards. It was ridiculous. I lost all the time. <laughs> but uh, April 27th is the release of Dominaria. We've had a couple spoilers for that set, uh, most of them. Um, it looks pretty fun. It's going to be... I'm, I mean, you all know that I love new sets. This is going to be a blast. This set is going to be an absolute blast. Um, Pre-release is the 21st and 22nd. And for the, we have a first, we have actually two firsts uh, for this. Um, one is there is a particular card that looks like it's pretty much geared towards Commander or maybe even this new Brawl format, um, the Minotaur Siblings. Um, the only way to get that card is going to be by purchasing a box. They don't come in packs. There's not a pre-con, at least not of yet. Uh, there isn't a pre-con that is going to come in. Um, the only way, as of now, to obtain that card is to buy a box, which is getting good and bad feedback on. A little bit, bit more bad than good from what I am seeing. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to have some, so uh, I will 
I will probably be making a deck around because they look pretty dang good. But the second first is the fact that if you pre-order a box of Dominaria before the pre-release, you can actually pick that box up at pre-release. You no longer have to wait the week until the release, you know, the following Friday. Um, that's something new. It's interesting. I'm not entirely sure. Um, <laughs> essentially, to me, it seems like they're just kind of combining pre-release and release weekend, um, except you're still having the same amount of events. You're still staggering it to the point where you can have pre-release and release weekend events, but it is what it is, and I like it because that means I can get my hands on the cards that I'm going to open even quicker um, and probably lose money. But once again, <laughs> neither here nor there. Um, now, about pre-release, and here we're going to get into the contests. Once again, BC Comics and Games, the wonderful sponsor of this channel, is offering up a free entry into pre-release. Now, this contest is going to be open to people 18 years of age or older, uh, or a minor with, with permission from their parents, and we are keeping this to residents of Michigan, mainly because, you know, if you live, you know, 500 miles away, chances are you're not going to be making the trip, uh, that trip, for a pre-release. If by some chance you are out of state and you're going to be here in Michigan on the weekend for Dominaria pre-release, and you want to chance this, let me know. But aside from, you know, extenuating circumstances, we're going to keep this to Michigan. Now, unfortunately, uh, I do have a prior engagement uh, on the 21st, so I will not be attending the Saturday pre-release. Um, I will be there, however, on Sunday. So, we're also doing the bounty once again. If on Sunday, and I'm not sure which event it's going to be, but essentially if you beat me, you will get an extra pack of cards for beating me if you play me in the main event. I'd like to specify that it is in the Magic Tournament. Uh, the parking lot does not count in beating me. I really want to stress that. So, um, but anyways, uh, if you would like to enter into the contest to win the free entry into pre-release, uh, on the weekend of the 21st and 22nd, then in the comments below, I would like you to type out, I want to play at BC Comics. That will be the way I know who wants to enter and who doesn't. Type that in the comments below, I want to play at BC Comics, and we'll go ahead and get you in. Um, now for the second contest that we have going on. Uh, we have teamed up with another YouTube channel, Exotic MTG, and we're doing another, because the last one turned out to be rather successful, a Choose Your Own Fat Pack giveaway. Now, I'm going to go ahead and include a link down in the description below. Essentially, you follow the link, you follow the instructions, enter, and you will be good to go. The winner will get their choice of any fat pack, or bundle if you will, uh, of anything in standard, anything in standard, your choice, you get to pick it, we'll send it out to you, it's going to be absolutely great. Um, and then for our next contest, yes, there is one more after that, um, we have a, come, in the coming up weeks you'll probably see it, we have a fat pack that we're opening on the channel, um, and this is one of the older ones, one of them that came with uh, the novel, for those of you that, that don't know, uh, and let's see if I have one hand, oh, here, is this one? I think this is one, no, that's not. Okay, well, I don't have to happen to have one within reach, but, um, uh, the older fat packs actually came with Magic the Gathering novels, because there is a, you know, there's a storyline for Magic, and that's what those books cover. Um, we're going to be giving that novel that came in that fat pack, and we're not going to show it to you today because we don't want to spoil the surprise of what fat pack we opened, um, but we're going to be giving it away to one of you guys, uh, mainly because, you know, we want to share the love, and it's um, and it's one that I already have. So, <laughs> anyways, um, but we're going to announce at a different time. Uh, we don't want to uh, include the entries for that into the comments down below here because that's going to just get too confusing with the other one. So, anyways, that about covers it what we have for today's video. I want to thank everyone for watching. 
If you like what you saw here today, I want you to click like, hit subscribe, and share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon. MTG. And speaking of Chuck Wagon MTG, I would like to remind you that all the contests that I have named before this right here, uh, to be a winner, you do have to be subscribed to the channel to win. If we pull your name and you're not subscribed to the channel, then unfortunately we're just going to go to the next person on down the list. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you could do me a huge favor now and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. They have three different locations, and they run magic events every Monday through Saturday, and their Friday night magic consists of standard, modern, and legacy every week. This is why I've personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.